Hello, Internet, and welcome to my first microcontroller tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to cover all about the basic concept of a microcontroller, like its registers, its memories, the different peripherals that a microcontroller has, and what we can do with it. Next, we are going to cover how to program a microcontroller and what are the different IDEs or tools that you can use in programming a microcontroller and debugging a microcontroller. We are also going to cover basic C programming and how to um, efficiently program for embedded systems because in embedded systems, we have limited memories, limited ROMs, and limited processing power. We would like to create a program that would use as little as a, a small memory, ROM, and processing cycle as possible without sacrificing the quality of the performance of the application. So, Sounds pretty exciting, right? And lastly, we are going to cover some basic microcontroller applications, which could help you get started on a much more advanced application. Okay. So guys, what is a microcontroller? So a microcontroller, according to Wikipedia, it is a small computer on a single integrated circuit containing a processor core, memory, and programmable input-output peripherals. Think of it as a miniaturized general computer, but instead of targeting multiple applications, it can only target a single application. And because it has a slower processor, a smaller program memory, and an even smaller RAM, it is also a low power device. Now, depending on the system peripherals, the microcontroller powered application will be able to run on a coin cell battery months at a time. Just think of a digital watch. What are some examples of microcontrollers that we can find in our household today? Smart watches, smartphones, telephones, modems, digital cameras, security locks, and so much more. If a device is capable of making decisions, then there is a good chance that there is a microcontroller embedded in that. For example, a smoke detector rings an alarm if it detects smoke, but if there is no smoke, it is on standby. For the entire series, we will be working with the PIC16F8778. This MCU has a lot of peripherals and it is a perfect fit when we will decide to scale up our applications. The MCU includes the following peripherals. Interrupts that we can basically use for button depressions. I.O. ports that can be utilized for lighting up LEDs or input devices. And timers. CCP modules, ABC modules, analog comparators, which are very useful for advanced applications, and of course, peripherals for serial and parallel communications. For our development tools, we will be using MPLAB, which is a free IDE for PIC embedded applications developed by Microchip Technology. We will be using this tool for creating the C program that will be running on our PIC. PICKET3, which is an in-circuit debugger programmer for PIC, which is also developed by Microchip Technology. And lastly, Proteus, which is an optional software. This is a simulation software where we can create a simulated environment for our application. We just create the circuit and then load the hex file from MPLAB and hit run to see if the system behaves as expected. 
we have finally reached the end of our first episode. On the next episode of this series, we will be covering a step-by-step illustration on how to install and set up our development environment. See you then and thank you for watching.